Hello and welcome. I'm Kate Dillon and on this channel I talk about, well, a lot of the things that have to do with entrepreneurship and building a business. But on this particular, I'm doing a series right now on StreamYard and StreamYard's been a game changer in my business and doing live streams. And so on this video, we're going to take a look at how do you download your previous live streams? You know, you might want to use them for something else. So like in the past, Past, I have gone live straight on Facebook. I've then downloaded those videos and then I've uploaded them over to YouTube. Now with, with, uh, with StreamYard, I actually go to both platforms at the same time. I, I stream to both YouTube and Facebook, but I know that that's a paid version of the software. So if you want to, and you just, you're like, Hey, I'm going to go live on one of my platforms. I want to download this. I want to use it for something else. Maybe you want to edit it um, and just do sections. There's lots of reasons why you might want to download your previous live streams. And Facebook has not always made that easy. What I do love is that that StreamYard has made this extremely easy. So let's go ahead and jump on over to StreamYard. And I'm already logged in right here on StreamYard. And we've got broadcast, we've got destinations. And in our broadcast, I want to show you here, we're going to click on past broadcasts. And on past broadcasts, it has our previous different broadcasts that we've done, whether um, you can tell these are ones that I've I've well, there are other parts of the series here on StreamYard that I recorded right in this software. This is one where it was streamed to both Facebook and YouTube. It's telling me where. And but it's really, really simple. You just click on these three dots right here. And it gives you options. You can click on Enter Broadcast Studio, invite a guest, you can delete it or download the recording. And that's the important part. So we click on download the recording. You'll see here it says that it will save your recording for 15 days and just download them within that period of time. So in this case, we could download the video or we could download the audio, whichever we prefer in that particular case. Why would you use the video versus the audio? It really just depends on your particular circumstances. Um, I know for one thing that we do here is yes, I'm streaming live to both YouTube and Facebook when I do my Sunday show. But that Sunday show also turns into a podcast. So on Monday morning, we download the MP3. And then we upload that to our podcast. We upload that to Libsyn and it goes out to iTunes and all of the different podcast platforms. So it's another way that you can use StreamYard. Yes, you can use StreamYard to create a podcast. Uh, and if you've got other questions about podcasting, if you have any questions about StreamYard at all, feel free to drop those in the comments. I can't say that I'm an expert, but you can see that I've started using it and using it in my business. And I absolutely love love it and I just keep on adding to it and definitely check out the other videos in this series. Oh, and before you for before any of us forget, hit that subscribe button and I really would appreciate that I have a lot of viewers that aren't subscribers and it would really help out this channel a lot to hit out hit that subscribe button. And you know while you're there, hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos and if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, smash it if it makes you happy happy. And I want to thank you so much for being here. And I will look forward to seeing you in another video.